Go live. Okay, yep, and I'm going to assume going live. You are live, alrighty. It better be telling me the truth, because if it's not telling me the truth, I will not be the happiest of the happiest. Okay, legends. So, yeah, we are live. Good day, legends. TJC Sports here. Welcome back, as always, to another NRL live stream reaction. L200. NRL live stream reaction. 200 streams, guys. Woo! -oh. Absolutely ex brilliant, ecstatic, excited. I can't believe we've come so far in just a few short years, guys. We've gone from the fair, from, from just the couple hundreds to the multiple thousands. It has been un absolutely believable. So, thank you for everybody. Whether you've been here since the start or to now, massive, massive milestone. Right, 200, guys. I never knew if we'd get here, but here we are, guys. And today, we're going to be reacting to the Manly Warringah Seagulls versus the Sydney Roosters. Isn't it ironic, guys? My least favorite team, Manly, in my big milestone stream. Typical. Absolutely typical. Makes perfect sense with my logic. Ha! <laughs> Happy B-Day, Dean loves stuff. Rugby King says, it is me. Yes, it is you, Rugby King. Long live the King. Then again, I've only got one King I worship, and he plays fullback for Parramatta. I see Bronco says, Roosters in. You're going for the Roosters in this one, Bronco? Liam Pritchard says, hi, Tyler. How was the game on Friday night? It was fine, man. Um, you can check out the blog on the channel. Honestly... I'll be honest, it was uh, it was okay. I enjoyed it, but I'm not a big fan of some of the decisions made in that game, even though I kind of saw it coming that nothing would come of it because it is the Penrith Panthers. <laughs> All right? And I'm not going to complain about the game because, look, Para, I think they did enough to make us fans happy, and I'm excited for the next one. I'm excited for next week when hopefully we beat these Manly Oringa Seagulls, who will be the next Parramatta vlog in round three. Bring it on, guys. Let's get on with the lineups here as the chat, as the chat's just coming in. You're all rolling up, going, going, moving forward. You're excited. You're happy. 200 streams, baby. For the Manly Warringah Seagulls, we have Tom Trebojevic at fullback with Tommy Talao and Jackson Paolo on the wing. Ruben Garrick and Tolotau Kula in the centers. Goodbye, Rugby King. Um, in the halves, we have Luke Brooks and Daly Cherry Evans. In the props, it's Paseca and Josh Aloye. With Lachlan Croker at nine. The int the second row forwards are Homo Olokawatu and Ben Trebojevic, Burbo, and then we've got Jerbo at lock. With the interchange being Carl Lawton, Corey Waddell, Ethan Bullimore, and Nathan Brown. Jacob Arthur manages to make his way into the 18th man position. For the Sydney Roosters, we have James Tedesco at fullback with Daniel Tupa and Dominic Young on the wings. Finally, Dom Young gets an NRL game out of the way for the Sydney Roosters today that isn't preseason. Obviously, very unlucky for Dom Young in the preseason. Hopefully, he can get the job done here. Kind of like how Brooks did in round one, Las Vegas for Manly. Both these sides obviously were victors in Vegas, coming off um, pretty decent score lines too. But you also got to keep in mind, it is Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. We move on to the Australian game version. Which one will be the victors? Yes, we lost this weekend, Ivan. And yes, there were very poor poor uh, decisions. But at the end of the day, it's a loss. And yeah, look, okay, yes. I, I accept that Panthers are a good team and they certainly did play better in the second half. I'm not going to blame any decisions for the loss. But what I will say is that people are silly if they think Parra should be worried losing to the free Pete Premiers. We've beaten them four times in a row in the regular season. It's one victory. I'd rather go on to make the top eight and beat them in finals. Roosters 1-12 to says Jason Reader. Best of luck to you, Jason Reader, with that prediction. Suali'i and Manu in the centres. In the halves, we have Luke Keery and Walker. With the props being Lindsay Collins and Terrell May starting with Brandon Smith at nine. Wong and Tupa Nua in the second row. Locke is Victor Radley. Victor the Inflictor. I am shocked in Vegas that he wasn't suspended, knowing how Mr. Inflictor is. Jared Rhea Hargreaves, speaking of suspensions, on the interchange with Sandon Smith, White, and Nat Butcher. Porga is the 18th man. Honestly, pretty good t two teams there. I, I actually think um, the Roosters have a better team overall, but that's just my own opinion. You can have your own. 
just looking at both sides, I'm looking at it and I'm going, oh, you know, the matchup between Tedesco and Tommy Turbo will always be an entertaining one. Tupo, one of the, Ro isn't he like the Roosters all-time try scorer or something? He's insane for them, or at least he's right up there. Crazy scorer there for him. Um, you know, you got Joey Martin, who's off to rugby next year, I, b I believe. So he's he should be in for a big year for them. I'm pretty sure he missed Vegas. Jason Marita, you're six out of six on your tips at the moment. Mate, you are one of the rare few. Not many are in that position. Six out of six, bro. You lucky ducky. I cannot even get close to that. It refuses to give me good tips, bro. It refuses. I'm not allowed to have the right tips, it seems. Actually, what is my, um, what are my tips? How are my tips looking? So, I tip Storm, Storm Warm. New Cowboys, I, I tipped Cowboys, I tipped Raiders, I tipped, yeah, nah, where I went wrong is tipping Para. That seems to be, I know, tipping Para seems to be where I've gotten a non-perfect week so far. Curse you. Curse you. Hello, Xavier Coates try, mate. I'll never forget that. That was an incredible try, all right? Obviously, there were no streams yesterday, guys. I was just buggered after the vlog, all right? It's just... It's so tough, okay? I hate it when a Super Saturday is the day after I've done a vlog because it just... It's, it's almost impossible to really be able to get the energy back on time for it. I don't know what there is about it, but it's just so tough. Tenth like on the stream. Hey, Parramatta's 1947. Pat yourself on the back. Milestone like, there you go, legend. Make success at its finest right there. Being a, speaking of success, both these teams have definitely experienced that in the past. It is the Northern Beaches versus the Eastern Suburbs, bro. Manly, Roosters, two of the most fancy places in the NRL. Keen to see how this game goes. Um, Luke Brooks is probably the only player I'd love to see score for Manly, so I'll go with Luke Brooks anytime try scorer. And for Roosters, I'll say uh, James Tedesco. You can't tip incorrect because you always tip Parra. Mate, 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 mate. I tip pa I don't always tip Para. I've just learnt my lesson in the past not tipping Para. Last year, I didn't tip Para versus, Pan versus Pampers uh, at Combank, and... Uh, I went to regret, went on to regret it. I didn't tip Para versus um, Souths last year in round 12. Um, I lived on to regret that too because my team won. Ultimately, I would rather tip Para and be wrong than not tip them and be um, you know and and be wrong again. <laughs> DCE my caps as as a Storm fan. He's your cap, bro. Really, as a Storm fan, mate? DCEE -E is your cap. Um, look, I wouldn't have gone with DCE -E as my captain, mate. Uh, look, Daly Cherry Evans, he's a he's a good halfback, all right? I won't deny that. He's a very good halfback, but he's just not my kind of halfback. <laughs> he's one of those players where I'll, I'll take him when he's playing for Queensland, but, mate, when he's at Manly, I could not care. He, you won't be seeing him in my team. Captaining him means that you're really back in them versus the Roosters, so good on you, bro. Bold tipping there from you. Uh, I tipped Nico Hines personally in Supercoach and got 140, so I'll take that, baby. That was a good captaincy choice, in my opinion. Was very tempted to do the reverse vice-captain swap to go to uh, Reese Walsh as my captain, but um, nah, I decided no, 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 I'm going to stick it out, and it worked out in the end for me points-wise. Let's go, legends! Big J Footy says, yo, TJC, how's it going? It's going absolutely brilliant, mate. We're getting hyped on our 200th NRL stream for the Manly Roosters game. We don't have too much time, about 10, 10 special minutes until this amazing game kicks off. Feel free to ask any questions in the chat you'd like as we get ready for this one. Make sure, of course, in very simple terms, you like, subscribe, share around also. And I'm ready for this one. Gus Gould currently there t interviewing Daly Cherry Evans. Mate, if you wanted an image of things I don't like, just put Gus and Cherry next to each other. I'm currently 6 from 6, so good round for me so far. Good round for you so far, Big J Footy. I'd be 6 from 6 if I didn't tip my team, but you can't not back your side, Legends. You can't not. you got to back your side. Jason Reader says, I'm looking forward to Roosters versus Rabbits next week. Mate, honestly, I think Roosters-Rabbits next week is one of the biggest, 
biggest, biggest games you'll get in a while. Seriously, Roosters and... Actually, overall, round three is shaping up to be a big round. Let's take a look at it, guys. You've got the grand final rematch kicking it off with Pampers Broncos. Then the following day, there is Roosters South. Then after that... On the Super Saturday, um, is there any big games? now? Super Saturday is where they've clearly got all the deadweight games. And then on Sunday, you have Paramanly. Not, honestly, there's some big rivalries there heading into that game, and I'm ready for it. Uh, Ivan says, too humble and loyal to just see. Here, mate, you guys got my respect. Legend Ivan. Mate, you got to be loyal to your team, because loyalty is all a fan can truly give. Give us the support, you know, money, yes, you know, fan memberships, that, that, that's a money-wise that you can give to your team, but overall, loyalty, passion, vocal support, those are the greatest things you could give to your team. Uh, me versus Proenzo, this is Jason Reader. good for you, Jason, bro, who will win, the Rooster or the Seagull, uh, Sea Eagle, sorry, not Seagull. See Eagle. I'll go with the rooster in this one, personally. Um, I believe that's who I tipped in my tipping uh, video, but I couldn't completely tell you. I haven't checked that thing in a while. That video was really tight to get out, actually, because um, I had work and stuff, so it wasn't easy to finish that off while also doing my hours. <laughs> Me versus Hainsey and Paddy Gillespie. Patrick Gillespie and Hainsey versus you, bro. Nah, mate. You know, I can't go past my boy Hainsey in this one. The Sydney Roosters are getting it done. Come on. I know where it's at. I know where it's at, Legends. I I can see a lot of people showing up. Now, look at that, guys. Roosters Manly. A lot of pla a lot of um, supporters for both teams running into the stadium. It's kind of interesting. But then again, of course, it is a home game, so the Manly fans can make it. Instead of having to travel, in which case we'd see no Manly fans. Matthew Barnes says Manly to upset the Roosters. You sure, bro? I mean, actually, you know what? If there is a game this round where I always thought an upset could happen, it is this one. Manly and Roosters, guys. It, it's just like, you look at the two lineups and you can't tell me that one is infinitely better than the other. Like, one is better, in my opinion, but I can't tell you without a... Shadow of a doubt that one's better. How many minutes before kickoff? Well, it starts at 4.05, Legend, and since it's 3.58 right now, um, then obviously there is about six minutes, seven minutes, uh, six minutes, Legend, until it starts. Uh, Big J footy with the cries, mate. Big J footy not happy right now. What about the finish from Coates yesterday? Bro, that finish from Coates. Just look at the images, guys. Look at the video. Look at the highlights. That was just something else. Coates, guys, on another level, alright, like, seriously, that winger has always been special to me, but, jeez, that try was just beautiful, one of the best 80th minute winners you will ever see in a round two game of rugby league, that's the kind of stuff that you view in finals, in fact, that try was better than a lot of legendary tries, but because it was only round two, we shouldn't put it in that high regard, because the pressure just wasn't up to that level, but, Never forget, that might be one of the best tries he will score in his career. And if it isn't, then he's got one heck of a career coming up for himself, Legends. He's got one heck of a career. There it is. There's the charger. Just so this thing doesn't go dead while we are streaming. Brilliant. Because wouldn't that be funny, guys? We're doing a, we're doing a live reaction, then just bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 Okay, it was just sorting out something there. It was, uh, had a bit of an issue, but it's good now. Coach, try of the season. It po it probably will be try of the season unless something absolutely exceptional happens in the next 20-something rounds, which is possible, guys. So much of the season to go. Don't make any early predictions about this being the best and this being the worst. I saw you correct. Mate, I was not crying in my vlog, bro. I was emotional, but I wasn't crying. That was cool. That was cool just wiping away, mate, a bit of emotion. All right? Like, at the end of the day, Legend, Para could smash a team, and I'll be a little emotional. Parramatta is that team that means the absolute world to me. All right? Like, I love Para a lot more than a lot of people will ever love their teams. And, the, and just... 
it takes a lot to be loyal to a side like Parry. Even everybody knows this. All right. At the end of the day, I think it's sadder to be somebody who tries to banter the fans that lost and are showing respect than it is to be a little emotional and show respect about losing. Anyways, guys, so far we have 27 votes on the poll. 40, 28 actually. Way to outdate me instantly, guys. 46% to the Sydney Roosters with Manly at 39%. The ref is at 11, and the draw, the boring answer, is at 4%. Really, guys? Well, if you tipped the ref versus Power and Pampers, you were correct, but... No, but I wasn't streaming for that, so unfortunately, uh, I won't really count it. I won't count it. I won't, Legends. I won't count it. NRL, it's an NBA edit. says, yo, 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 NRL, it's an NBA edit. How are you doing, man? Welcome to the stream, Legend. Always love welcoming people in. Don't worry, TGC. You weren't as bad as me when... I cried over the 2021 grand final. Bro, people got to remember, you know, there's a difference between emotion and sobbing. Like, in my opinion, you can show emotion, but absolutely sobbing and, like, being in your... That's, that's a little different, you know? Like, that's just... I think that if you're not somewhat emotional for your team after a win or loss, then you, you're not... You're not feeling how I feel when I go to a game. <laughs> it's Brookvale for a reason, mate. It is Brookvale for a reason, but it's called um, Four Pines Park right now, actually, isn't it? Um, but, yep, yeah, depending on what you call it, Four Pines, Brookie, um, sponsored name or name the supporters call it, it is their home stadium. It is where we're playing, and it is a good advantage for Manly. If there's a place where they're going to upset the Sydney Roosters, it's on their home turf, guys. We've got about a couple minutes until it is due to kick off. Channel 9 looks like they're just doing some kicks right now to prepare themselves a little. James Tedesco there next to Ruben Garrick. I'm um, good, says SS Storm fan. Mate, we, SS Storm fan, we hope you're doing absolutely amazing, legend. Glad to hear have you here. Manly currently in the sheds for the most part. Roosters now in the sheds as well. I, I'm confident with my Roosters tip, but I'm also kind of like... Ugh, I could see this going up way. Look, watch me be completely wrong and Manly win 13 plus or something, but I genuinely believe that we could be in for one of the best games. Maybe not Storm Warriors level, but one of the best games. Anthony Seabold versus Trent Robinson. Who will come up on top? Honestly, I think... I, I honestly think Seabold doesn't even... Can't even wax the shoes of, of, of Trent in terms of um, as a coach. But um, that's just my opinion. I'm sure Manly think differently. Manly looks hyped right now in the sheds, guys. Ruben Garrick, bro. Never seen him so hyped. Roosters, though. They're looking calm, ready with a good demeanor. That's the Storm Fan Great Try by Zoba Kurtz. Yep, yep. Matthew Barnes. Hey, all. Hello, Mel. Welcome to the stream, Legends. And I'll edit an NBA edit. It says, are you, are you goaded? Mate, of course, mate. We're goaded, bro. We're goaded. Just like any stream, bro. If you have the energy to stream majority of games, okay, as an NRL cre content creator, then you are one of the goaded ones, okay? One of the absolutely goaded ones. One of the legends. Roosters running out onto the field. Legends. Victor Radley, James Tedesco, Lindsay Collins, Dom Young, all your favourite roosters out here now. Scored 25 tries in 25 games for the Knights in 23. Dom Young had one heck of a season last year. Can he repeat those heroics in 2024? We'll find out in just a moment. We're waiting for Manly to run out. And then we can officially kick off our Sunday footy. Ola Kawatu just having a brief talk with his second row partner, Ben Trebojevic, about possibly some tactics. Who knows, guys? I mean, Ola Kawatu, he's a much bigger bloke than Ben, but of course, you know, Ben's got that turbo gerbo blood in him. And, of course, you cannot forget that amazing try he scored in Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas, guys. It was a good one. I'm hoping for him to repeat it. He is in my super coach. I want some good scores. I want some very good scores. Give me the scores, guys. Give me the wins. Give me the victories. I need more. I need the best 
around. I need the greatest big knock on man. First try scorer, Luke Brooks. I've gone for Brooks anytime, but, you know, first try scorer, bold prediction, bro. You're going big to say that. Try scorer, Ondebu. Rabbitohs, round one, Luke Brooks. It's, mate, we're getting ready. This is the Las Vegas footy grand final. It is, mate. It's the Las Vegas grand final, essentially, but it's being played in Australia instead. Manly and Roosters. Who is truly the best team of Vegas? We'll find out at Brookie, Four Pines Park, Roosters and Manly. I'm sure they have a lot to catch up on and support each other on. Brandon Smith, guys, famous for earlier in the week talking about how Parramatta very much abused the chase rule that was changed. But, of course, we don't need to hear about Brandon Smith sports on Para as we carry on. Ro Anyways, legends, we kick off here. Josh Aloye catching the ball. Aloye into the line where he's been held back to the 20 meter bit now over to the right where we got Paseca in pursuit Paseca with the pace for a Paseca held down now by Satili Tupanua LAA to Brooks we could already have a gap opening up cooler cooler's away this is way too soon way too soon to be getting a run like that held down now on the 20 meter line Third tackle. Where is this burst of speed out of nowhere in under a minute come from Manly? Ola Kawatu now. Ola Kawatu down the right. Ola Kawatu pushed just back and inside the 10 metres at six again. The Roosters are all over the place. Tommy Turbo, surely back over and Kulo started the set to tackle there. Second on the set. Go short. No, he doesn't. He goes back over to the right. Couldn't find it. Brooks to Croker. Back over to LIA. LIA will decide to take a step and will go on his back onto the ground there. Now Croker. Short to Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo back to Croker. Jack, Tra Jack Jake Trebojevic to Cherry Evans to Garrick. Will you barrack for Garrick to get this? And he gets it out of play. He passes out of there. And it'll be nothing. No lollies from the bag for Manly. Roosters hog it all to themselves. But what a play that was. Cooler guys absolutely making a joke of Dom Young in the defence. Absolutely brilliant speed. Young, well fast, couldn't think fast enough. Good Roosters, mate. Great defence from Roosters, but you can't deny the attacking effort from Manly there. It's the last, mate, first try scorer, Joseph Sawala. You're going for Joseph Sawali, bro. He's going to get the first try today, guys, before he moves off. Then again, there are doubts about him leaving, but um, I think he'll leave, personally. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, uh, the only creator that could really know was, like, Hainsey or that. Now, Terrell May held down. Brandon Smith. Oh, third tackle, and they're kicking way early there. The insanity. It bounces well. The roost is here. They kick it. And, oh, come on, legends. Jackson Paolo, the former bunny and last year rooster, saves the day and catches the ball. Now to Cooler. This is insanity at its finest. We're not even three minutes in at its back and forth. Some of the biggest plays you have seen in the first five minutes. Clearly, they want some action. Clearly, they want something special. They want to make the fans stick around. King Julian says, sup TJC, up the Bronx. What a win for my Broncos this week. And looking forward to the grand final rematch next week between my Broncos and Panthers. Oh, what a game that should be, King Julian, mate. I'm with you all the way there. Grand final rematch next week, Legends. I'm ready for it. I don't know about you, Legends, but I cannot think of a better way to start next round than with Broncos-Panthers. That is going to be something special. And now that both teams have won, it'll mean that nobody will be going in with any disadvantage there. And Brandon Smith earlier, what a tackle that was on Luke Brooks they're looking at. Absolutely brilliant. Low, but rough. Just what you want to see in rugby league. Dom Young hit hard there too. That ball was flying when it hit Young. And now it seems like a penalty. All right, and they're going to carry on the Sydney Roosters. Wong now. Wong pushing himself, gets it over. Can't even gain about five metres. Very good defence there from the Trevojevic brothers, Jake and Ben. Now, tippy-toeing around. What a hit. I know, right, Big J Footy? What a hit. What a brilliant game this has been to start off so far. Terrell May to the left side on the 40 metre. 
Terrell May held down barely by Jerbo and Ola Kawatsu. Now looking both ways, Brandon Smith. Takiri to Tupanua. Six again, one. He could have offloaded, but he decided not to. Now interference in the ruck. It's another six again. Brandon Smith's going to run the field, and he's going to get stopped by Jake just barely before he could go too far. Now over to the right. Luke Victor Radley gets it to Lindsay Collins. Yeah, we'll do what you... And that is actually beat the Pampers, hopefully. To be fair, though, man, a lot of decisions went against us, and we did have some players out. I'm not giving it as excuses, but there certainly were factors to how we lost, and we'll just have to move on to next week, because, you know, you can't beat a team forever. We beat them, like, four times in a row. I think it was our due time to concede! Dom Young, possibly for a try on the right edge! Good luck to your team next week, but, oh, almost! Ah! He doesn't get there in the end. Wait, we're going up. We're going up. The referee, he's got no try. He's just checking about a knock on. All right, okay, legends. I don't think we're going to get a try. Okay, so they kick it. Uh, that's definitely a kick. Dom Young's chasing. What is Dom Young doing? I swear if that's the Knights, Dom Young scores that. I swear if that's the Knights Dom Young. Oh, that bounce right at the end is what got him. That bounce right at the end. And I think that might be a knock-on. That might be a dock on from Dom Young. Oh, oh, it comes off Brooks, though. It does come off Brooks at one point. Silly duppers, it does come off Brooks at one point. And yet, not that, yeah, absolutely. Knock-on in goal. It's going to be Manly's ball. 20-meter line. Makes perfect sense looking at it. Perfect sense. Some of the best sense you will ever see. Dominic Young, he'll be frustrated with himself that he couldn't get it there. That was a sitter for him. If he's just a little faster and plays that right, feels like nerves almost got to him. He's not in Newcastle anymore. He's got to remember he's playing for one of the big teams. This team is a... Has, he's, over all the last few years, been one of the better sides. Ignore last year where they barely made the top eight. The fact is they did make the top eight. It was extremely tight. And if there's a side... Roosters are one of those sides you want to play in a lower team to get to. So hopefully they keep going. Well, I guess you're right. You've beaten Pampers for a long time. I guess it was only a matter of time until Pampers beat you guys again. And it happened the week... It happened this week to you guys. Exactly, Legend King Jordan. It was going to happen eventually. You can't keep beating a team forever and forever non-stop. So, four years, I mean, not four years, four games of winning, I kind of like when, you know, it's about time we lost to them regular season. So, fair enough to them. Manly down the left. Cooler gets it off. Over. Now to Jackson Fowler. Jackson Fowler now. By the way, guys, if you're wondering, the reason Jason Saab isn't here is because he suffered an injury in Vegas and will be gone for over a month, I believe, possibly longer from memory. Croker to Brooks. Brooks kicks high here. I love the role Brooks is playing at Manly right now. Oh, knock on from Roosters. Croker to run over. Lachlan Croker grounds the ball, and surely that's a lead for Manly in under seven minutes. How are we only seven minutes in with such an insanity of plays? Infinite. Things to bask in. Glory for days. Two of the NRL's highest achievers. Achieve. What a try. I'm looking there. Yep, definitely off to Desco. Croker collects. Nothing wrong with that. And the way he gets over is just beautiful. There's not much you can do there to stop him. Try. And it is 4-0. Soon to be 6-0, I believe. To either home side. And Four Pines Park goes insane. Let's go, says SS Storm. Man, mate, I swear, imagine the scenario where Manly wins on my 200th stream. That's just classic Manly while they're underdogs. That'd be classic. You tipped Manly. You tipped Manly, SS Storm fan. Of course you did, bro. You went for the upset. Well, it was tough to really find an upset this game, you know. Um, You could go with... um, You could... <sighs> Look, you could go with so many different kind of ga scenarios for upsets, but I think this game was always the most likely if you wanted to see an upset. The chances were just always there. Croker here, I just, I, I actually don't see where he grounds the ball, to be honest with you here, actually, now that I'm being honest, but 
not from that angle at least, but I think you'll find it uh, from here, potentially. Uh, it's actually, I don't think you could see on camera an angle where, actually, no, nah, it looks like the ball's on the ground there. Yeah, so it's take the kick, Garrick, it is 6-0. Yeah, yes, the Storm have beaten Warriors a long time in a row legend, but that's also just a ridiculous beat by Bellamy. Remember, he's also the guy that hasn't lost round one since the early 2000s, mate. It's lit it's just one of those things where round one, he does not lose Craig Bellamy. He refuses to. He just It just does not happen, bro. And that's what I'm trying to make the point of is, you know, we can't really compare ourselves to legendary things like Craig Bellamy's stuff. Like, usually a team doesn't beat multiple, doesn't win more than, like, five or six, get like, four or five games in a row versus side before. They're inevitably going to lose in some way. Got to remember, guys, especially when you remember that Panthers are arguably the best team in the comp, or one of them at least. Uh, do I think they're better than they... Do I think they're as good as they were last year? No. But to say that they're not a team where it's not embarrassing to lose to them, that it would be silly. It would be super silly, guys. Yeah, you like Bunny's Guy, but you're here now, mate. You're here now, Bunny's Guy. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Croker, Dubbies, to Brooks. Come on, Luke Brooks. Show us why you're the GOATs. Go, Brooks. Brooks, go on. Forward. Brooks, down to Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo, down the middle. So far, 54% possession to the Bailey Warringah Seagulls. Will eventually end that streak to Storm. Yeah, eventually they will, Legend. I just don't know if it will necessarily be under Bellamy. I don't care for this game. Mate, you probably don't care for either Sunday game if you don't care for this game. Dolphins Dragons isn't better. This game is um, certainly the more interesting of the two for me, but maybe you prefer one of the others. And it's a penalty here for the Sydney Roosters, guys. Inside the 10 metres. Brilliant job, Manly. Brilliant job. Gotta be better than that. And their kick goes all the way to over the halfway line. The Sydney Roosters, what a kick. And now they've got a full set on the Manly defensive half. Manly really will want to defend here. Oh, my goodness. Brandon Smith to Kiri. Kiri over to Terrell Bay. That first five minutes was one of the most hectic five minutes I've seen. It was back and forth, back and forth, boom, boom, boom. Luke Kiri to Victor Radley. Could have been a push off the ball there, but no, I think he was ta he was pushed right as he was passing. Brandon Smith to Terrell Bay to Kiri. Kiri to Tedesco. Daniel Tupo down the wing. They could not catch him. And it's 6-4 now. Could be all square in a second if they get the kick. Brilliant try, and that is why he is an absolute club legend for the Sydney Roosters. Daniel Tupo, ladies and gentlemen, was at Parramatta at one point in the junior system, which makes me sad. But now he's a rooster and has been inc an incredible rooster throughout his NRL career. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely tragic for Parramatta, no, not for roosters. It's legendary for them. The sidestep there, he makes it look effortless against Ruben Garrick. The, as soon as he received that ball, I always had no doubt he was getting over for a try. Jason Breeder says, let's go Roosters, let's go. Let's go, Jason Breeder. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mr. Jason Breeder. Your team is in the lead. Your is in the lead. There you go. It said 4-0 because clearly it, it, for some reason, didn't update Legend. It's updated now. There you go, mate. There you go. It's updated to 6-4 to six and will soon be 6 all in a moment. All right? Clearly, it didn't update for some reason. Yo, what's up, Legend? What's up, Paramount Eels Edits? How you feeling, bro? Welcome to the stream. We're just enjoying ourselves, having the greatest time. Of our lives, du, 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 du. balloons, 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 whoosh, woo, wow, 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 stop floating around, you little guys, for the kick, Sam Walker will walk on and forget he tried to ever kick that terrible, and it remains 6-4, are you kidding me? 
Roosters, let's go. I only care for this because because of tipping. Because at this stage, I have six out of six with my tips. Sweet, bro. Good for you, legend. Um, good for you. I think this week wasn't that hard to tip. Honestly, I think Para Para Pampers was probably one of the hardest ones, and even then, it was like it made perfect sense that Pampers were probably due a win versus us soon. King Julian ninety six says. Come and Roosters win. Make it seven from seven tips right for me. Come on, legend. Right now, it's not working out, though. Six to four. It's Manly's two points at the moment. But, of course, two points as a lead can mean nothing or a lot, depending on the match. It's all up to Manly how important those t that two-point lead is. Roosters now with the job. And Stom Young, oh, what a pass. Gets it off over to the right here where Wong is in support. Wong forcing himself forward now. Held down. Brandon Smith. Oh, come on. Brandon Smith with the runaway. Mr. Smith here. Brandon Smith. Almost signed with the Dolphins, who obviously are playing in the next games. Dragons and the Dolphins. Don't want to miss that, Legends. Wayne Bennett versus Shane Flanagan. Should be a good stream, that. Not a milestone, but should still be a fun one to be about, you know, to enjoy, to watch, all that good stuff. James Tedesco gets to Suwali. Suwali now. Fending everyone off. Suwali fending absolutely everyone off and held down. Kiri now on the fifth tackle. Kicks high over to the right, down the middle, and Manly managed to collect just barely. Brilliant there from Jackson Bolo. Now back over to Manly Tortel. Kula in support. Kula puts his arm out, but couldn't get far about. Brooks to Jackson Paolo. Mate, Jackson Paolo, he's done his work today. I, I feel like I've been saying his name a lot, guys, down the right wing. Garrick. Garrick held by Tupanua and Kiri. Mate, Tupanua I've barely noticed is on the field. What are you doing, Tupanua? We need more from you, bro. We need more from you, bro. Mate, Radley, come on, mate. Come on. C Croker. Brooks. Cherry. Cherry kicks high, and Tedesco can read it just perfectly there. Sydney Roosters, guys, I was... I was a lot more impressed with their win than I was Manly's, because with Manly's, right, I bat here's the thing with Manly's, I thought Manly were going to win. I definitely thought Manly were going to win, and I think they had the better side versus South, but South gave them a game for quite a while. Whereas, with the Roosters, no re there was no reason to really tip the Roosters over Broncos, other than if you thought Roosters would perform better in a Vegas setting. And yes, they ended up doing that, but there was just no real reason to not tip Bronx in that game. Congratulations to the Roosters. I, I think their win was more impressive. And off to Wong! Wong now! Wong! Back! And oh no! Tommy Turbo collects! Turbo's going! Tommy Turbo! And Turbo well down. Make sure not to do your leg, Turbo. Over to Paolo. Goes over 10 metres. Manly, guys, can they do a complete counter-attack here? Tackle zero to first tackle. Ivan Julian, we shush with Julian, bro. Warriors Storm was hard. Storm nearly lost the game that would have made it. Coates doesn't score that crazy try in the last 15 seconds. Yeah, exactly. I actually think Storm got quite lucky versus the Warriors, but, you know, at the end of the day, a win is a win. And you can't be sucking too hard about it. I think both teams did themselves proud. It's just in the end, Storm got the two points. It was lucky, but at the end of the day, it was two points, bro. It was it was a win. A win's a win. That's why I'm not going to get too upset about the Pampers game. Now, Olakawatu. Arm out. And Lindsay Collins absolutely slams him down to the ground. Croker. Fifth tackle. One last one in the set. Dally Cherry Evans. Oh, it's six again here. Of course it is. On fifth tackle, Manly gets six again. Don't change your mind like in the 2019 grand final, ref. Held down, Garrick. Now, Croker to the left, Josh LA. LA, arm out. Terrell May manages to force him back. Loses in Vegas, play, played the winners in Vegas, mate. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Tommy Turbo to Sarban. Oh, Jackson Butler. Oh. Oh, so close there. So close. So close, Legends. They almost got there, but they couldn't quite. Oh, and he's hurt. We got a hurt Wigger, ladies and gentlemen. Wigger down. Our, we have a Wigger down. Wigger down. Wigger down. Who 
who, who, who. He loses the ball early. It's no try, guys. They had to review it, but no, no try there to be seen, unfortunately. It will be nothing for him. It'll mean zilch. It'll be no victory for the legend. Tommy Talao could not get it. Tommy Talao was not enough. Tedesco, that tackle on the corner post was absolutely brilliant. James Tedesco, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch it again. Yeah. Oh, you could have. Oh, he he could have. You could argue he went quite high there, actually. Bro, that's an arm to the face. That's an arm to the head. I'm shocked that nobody's talking about that. That's a. I know that you can't say that he deliberately did anything, but how many of those actually are deliberate? That's all good, Omar, bro. My team, I'm working, so I, so I watch all the games on my phone, and I can't watch the the game. All good, Omar, so I know, bro. You bet. I, I, I look forward to seeing you more active once that happens, okay? Once you get it all back working, I hope to see you more, legend. Until then, it's fine, bro. It's absolutely fine. Oh, do you feel bad I couldn't stream yesterday, but I just couldn't, Legends. I just did not have the ability. Brandon Smith to Dom Young. Young puts his arm out here. Dominic Young, win everything on the line, held down. Honestly, you know, I I don't know how to feel about Dom Young. I feel like he should be doing better for Roosters, but um, yes, Dom Young is playing Legend. Dom Young is playing on the wing for the Sydney Roosters. I, I don't know how to feel. Like, I think he will be... I reckon that his best years will have been at nights at the rate he's playing right now. But, of course, sometimes it just takes a little time to get used to playing in a new surrounding. Roosters and Newcastle are a little different. Tupo! Tupo held down. Obviously, the only try scorer today for the Sydney Roosters. Will it stay that way? Only time will tell. We're only 16 and a half minutes in. So, don't make any decisions yet before anything's been done. Now over to the 40 meter. Manly held down Collins, guys. Lindsay Collins. Remember when he was a bargain in Fantasy and Supercoach? Now he's just there. <laughs> now he's just there. That's the best way to describe him now, guys. Not as special, right? Not as incredible. Not as spectacular. Just not as beautiful. Beautiful. Now, okay, over to the left. Brooks, short. Oh, that's surely a break through the line and held down. Dominic Young has the has the sh energy to play well and he uses it. Exactly, man. He has the energy to play brilliantly. The only issue I have is that I don't think he's got that he's using it right now in the game. But maybe that's just me. I just haven't seen much from him to say it. But, um, yeah, he certainly can do it. And, oh, that's forward. That's forward. Yeah, the ref sees it. And unfortunately, Jackson Barlow will not have his try. No, 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 no. It just wasn't doable. They tried, but in the end, yeah, the, that pass from Garrick just no, 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 no. He tried. He he grounded it, but it it was never going to be a try. Never in a million years. Active when Paris, active when Paris start weather. Mate, I'll be <laughs> Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. Hey, you, at least you know I'll be active when we win or lose, bro. I'll always be active for the Parramatta Eels. Radley, back over to Terrell May. Terrell May passes over to James Tedesco. The teddy bear runs through the line. And the teddy bear also seems to have helped his side concede a penalty, possibly. Looking at the ref's call. Oh, what, hang on, Brandon Smith guys got hit in the face there off the ball by LAA. Are they not going to talk about that? Yeah, LAA. Oh, well, it's Manly's, it's Manly's penalty, apparently, but... Oh, that's interesting. That's a really interesting decision there from the ref. Now LAA forcing himself forward. Over to the 10 meter line held down. Queensland captain versus New South Wales captain. Well, mate, Queensland captain always better, right? Always better than New South Wales captain. Any day, bro. Any day of the week, Queensland over New South Wales. Cherry gets it to Brooks. Brooks, dummy! Luke Brooks alive, potentially. Brooks held down right in front of the line. Tommy Turbo, back to Croker. Over to Cherry. If we can do a spin here, Dally Cherry up, it's alone. Cherry goes and just could not get there in the end. 
We're over halfway through the set now. Just two more tackles to go. Jake Chavoyevic gets it to Brooks. Brooks is playing a brilliant role right now for them. Nothing too fancy. Just the simple stuff. What he knows he can do, he will do. Brooks kicks low. And, oh, it just goes right to the Sydney Rooster. Oh. It goes right to the Sydney Rooster. Just, like, direct. It's like, hey, bro, here you go. Here. Have the ball. Oh. Just silly. Silly moves from all of them. Now, Luke Keary. And, oh, Keary loses the ball. Oh, no. Jackson Paolo. Paolo's running. Jackson Paolo. Luke Keary lost the ball, legends. Luke Brooks. To Ben Trebojevic, who passes it to the number three, Torto Kula. And Manly extend their lead at four points park. Manly. And I wouldn't dare sing the Manly Warringah song, but that is what they'll be doing with that. All praise should be there. What a try. What a at moment, Roosters with the error, and it's a great assist for also Ben Chaboyevic, which means super coach points, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let me hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, says King Julian 96. No, shout Roosters supporters, and yeah, shout the Manly fans. And here I am with the Roosters ones going, no. Brilliant there. Cooler, what a player in the centers he has been today for the Bailey Moringa Seagulls. Watch the crowd go mad as he runs over. Fans all around over the moon for this one. For the Seagulls, Tortau Cooler. 72 tackle breaks, 11 line breaks, and 8 tries in 2023 he scored. Now he kicks off the 2024. Australian games set part of the season with a try. Let's go! Shout to SS Stump and King Julian going, no, no, come on, Roosters. Come on, Roosters. It's Jason Reno. Roosters fans, they're worried. They're not happy right now. They're going, oh, God, what is this? What is going on right now? Because he plays best for the best state, Queensland. He plays best, absolutely plays best for Queensland, bro. Lindsay Collins legend. How good is he when he plays for Queensland? It's like a different level. Really shows you origin versus club how different they can be in terms of how good. Okay. What's the okay? Okay. Alright. Uh All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, one sec. Legends just reading that. Yep, all right, cool. Anyways, we carry on. Legends 10 to 4 now here in the game. The Manly and Roosters. Friday, we have the biggest rivalry. Roosters, they don't seem very prepared for it. Could we have a world where both teams are coming off a loss? Now he missed five in his career, Ruben Garrick. Silly, silly Ruben Garrick, guys. You can't barrack for Garrick nowadays, can you? If you can't kick, what are you doing, legend? What are you doing? What are you doing, legends? What are you doing? I respect it, bro. Go ahead. Uh... Streaming, but behind you. All right. Yeah, okay. Sorry, ladies. Just had to let someone know I was streaming. Um, sorry about that, but not everybody knows I stream. And some people don't even know I create, so yeah. Tommy Turbo, though, legends. Looks like it was a bad pass. We're looking forward here and moving over. Charlie Factor says Roosters to win by two. You reckon still the Roosters are going to win by two, legend? All right. Sweet. Now, Dom Young Legends. Over to Nat Butcher. Nat Butcher. 
Roosters, they're going to get a full set now because of Manly's error, guys. Manly could have been away, but no, they just had to muck it up. Now, if the Roosters do not score next, it's looking scary for Roosters tippers. And, guys, you may go, why aren't you concerned, TJC? I'm concerned, man. I'm a Roosters tipper myself. But, you can't deny that Manly have certainly started well. And they've come into this game knowing they're under the underdogs and have came to play. It's something Para does all the time. Victor Radley now. Radley. Victor the Inflictor inflicts damage on Jake Trebojevic. Over to the right. Back. And James Tedesco goes over for the Roosters. James Tedesco. And to the delight of the eastern suburbs, the Roosters may have just equalised. Uh, pending a kick from Sam Walker. You little beauty, says Jason Reader. 10 to 8. Will it be 10 all? And now Manly are surely living to regret their mistakes. Oh my god, all right. <laughs> James Tedesco, ladies and gentlemen. We're waiting on that kick. Five-time winner of the Jack Gibson medal as, since, as Roosters Player of the Year. He is such a good, good player. However you feel about Teddy as a bloke, you can't deny the man has damn talent. And what a conversion there. It comes off the post. Sam Walker, you are not much of a kicker right now, are you, legend? But luckily for you, you're all square now. Nonetheless, you little beauty. Ted all, ladies and gentlemen, here at Brookie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a mix between. I'm going to go between calling it Brookie and calling it Four Pines. Because it just, for me, is Brookie. But also, Four Pines is its technical name. So I'll go between the two a little legends. Because let's face it, everyone calls it. Rookie, you know, some call it four pies, but a lot just call it rookie. Let's be honest, guys. Remember, guys, fun fact, Luke Brooks has never lost at Brookvale, so clearly put your put your house on the Manly Warringah Seagulls. He's never lost at Brookvale while playing for Manly, Mr. Luke Brooks Legends. Ten all. Yeah, that's right, mate. We are all square here. Despite how Manly started, Roosters are going to be finishing it. That's what they're saying. You may have started this war and won the initial battle, but we'll win it all. Sydney Roosters now. He's held. Get off quicker, Manly. Get off quicker. And what's that? The string coming out of the Manly wearing the single shorts. That was odd. That was odd. How often do you see that? Just a bunch of string coming out of someone's shorts after a tackle. What was that on about? What's he got string in there for, Legends? What's the string for? What is the string for? Is it? What the actual heck? What the heck? All right. And Manly Collect, Mr. Lerbo, Turbo, Gerbo, Burbo, whatever you want to call him, held down now. Over to the right, Cherry Evans gets it short over to Talao. Talao now held down. 40 votes so far on the poll. You guys are going well. Remember, Legends, we always aim for 69 on the votes. So far, 40. We're on our way there. We're on our way. Manly, to the right, Croker. Goes over to Nathan Brown, who's officially on the field, Legends. Mr. Nathan Brown. I'm sure everybody just loves Nathan Brown, don't they? <laughs> All right, now held down. Also, Nathan Brown, obviously a former Sydney Rooster. I don't... He, it wasn't a long time there, was it? It was like half a year or something, I reckon. Daniel Tupo. And Cherry reads it well with Garrick. And what's the ref made the call on here? Garrick's appealing, saying that something shouldn't have shouldn't have happened or should have been called but we're gonna have to carry on we can't think too much of it garrick knows what happened but i don't know if many others do know what he's going off about did the player say something did the player do something did the player drop the ball who will ever know what he was asking about walker 
Back over to Joey Manu. Joey Manu fending everybody off. Gets over to the halfway line. Pushes himself. Little tippy toes. Not as bad as the tippy toes from Shiva. Now, now over to Lindsay Collins. Lindsay, Lindsay Collins now, guys. Lindsay Collins held down. Brandon. Hits it up. Kiri. We've got plenty of support on the left side here. Could bat backwards. And no, it's read well there from Jackson Ballow, the former Sydney Rooster. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Oh, and there you go, guys. Update there on the sideline. Tommy Talao has officially passed his head injury assessment. He will be good for the rest of this game. I'm currently watching this right now, and I'm just kind of going, Roosters Manly, guys. It's actually been a really entertaining game. I don't actually know what people mean when they say, oh, this game doesn't appeal to me. Like, I'm, I, I'm nowhere near supporting either of these team legends. Like, you know, I've got into games. I, I, I've grown a little more of a fondness for Roosters and Buddies ever since being mates with Buddies and Roosters supporters, you know? Like, you know, Hainsey and that. So I've got to have some respect for the Roosters. But, like, it's just not... Um, they're never a team I think I'd fully support. Like, I'd be the die-hard supporter of. So, you know, for that, with that in mind, I still think that this is a very entertaining game and, and tends to generally be. Radley. Over to Terrell May. Terrell May. He's got all of it on the line here as he moves past the white bit. Liking the look of this so far, Legends. It's a good move for him. Very entertaining. Very much worthy of a 200 stream, isn't it, guys, right now? Very much worthy. Okay, and now held up. Kicked. And now the Roosters. Left side. Oh, complete. Knock on. Double knock on. Double knock on. Double knock on, Legends. Roosters. The crew stars should get the ball back. Sam Walker, you hero. Walker walks on from zero. What a try. What a try could be coming up right now. I'm rubbing my hands together in anticipation, guys. Ooh. Don't know about you, Legends, but sheesh. And of course it goes back to Manly. Of course it does. Of course it goes back to Manly. It had to go back to Manly. Had to go back to Manly. And now Nathan Brown. Over to Cherry Evans. Passes backwards. Gets it over to Garrick. Ruben Garrick and the pass is terrible. Goes out of play. Now it's going to be Rooster's ball. Garrick, guys. He's been a bit all over the place, to be honest, today. Sydney Roosters. Look, I think it hasn't been perfect in the finishing from either team, um. You know, both have had those moments where it looks like surely they would do something and then they just haven't. I think Rooster should be a try up, if anything. I really think Don Young should have taken advantage earlier, but it, it just wasn't meant to happen. Now held down over halfway, 40 meter line. Manly get it back because Roosters make another foul play. Hey! Luke Brooks! Brooks! Over! Get it to Lawton! Lawton back over. Lawton, what were you doing? Olukawatu! Luke Brooks! Oh, no! Right on the line, Luke Brooks knocks on! Surely, that was a given try for you, Brooksy! Oh, man. Luke Brooks, ladies and gentlemen, almost created one of the best tries of the game. Lawton over to Olicorda. Olicorda was not held. He passed back. And just barely, he doesn't get his try. That is terrible. Wait, we have a captain's challenge coming up here. How big is this captain's challenge going to be, Legends? How big is this captain's challenge going to be? Is just, is just, is just, is just. Say it for. Alrighty.
the bull here goes madly. Olukawatu. Alright, okay, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, whatever. Oh, I think he may be hell. Nah, yeah, unsuccessful challenge. Had a feeling. Had a feeling looking at that. I was trying to look for a way that it could be Manly's ball. Much to my dismay, but no, nah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely is it that. Okay, Legends, there you have it. It is. It is no captain's challenge for Manly. Manly, guys, lose their challenge. Next Sunday, 3 p.m., para Manly. I will be there vlogging as usual. And the best part about a Sunday game, there is no footy to stream the next day. So I can just focus on the vlog completely. <laughs> That's the best part about a Sunday vlog. That is uh, one of the greatest parts of it. Tipping the ref, TJC, bro, you're always going to tip the ref. You're always going to tip the ref, you. Dom Young, back over to Manly. Is it off Manly? Wait, Dom Young's name it off Manly. Yeah, no, nah, but it wasn't played out, so it's going to be a Roosters out. Manly didn't play at that, you silly Billy, Dom Young. I don't know, did Dom Young look up the rules recently, Legends? Because last I sh Oh, well, the kick to keep him in play was exceptional. The kick to keep him in play was actually exceptional. That was that was unbelievable. Bro, his effort levels are on another level for Dom Young. And that's definitely why Trent Robinson wanted to bring him into the Roosters. He's one of those players, he just goes to another level. Alright, now Nathan Brown gets it to Brooks. Moves over to Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo. Oh, Tommy Turbo! Tommy Turbo for the line. Oh, congrats on the win, SS Snowfan. Yeah, Viking Axe. Welcome to the chat, Legend. Great having you here, man. Ah, oh, we missed having our Mr. Viking Axe, the classic man himself, around. I'm sure you're happy about the happy about your Raiders victory over the Tigers, bro. Cherry, over! Gets it to Paolo. Surely Jackson Paolo can move it in here and no, he's forced to stay out there. Wait, the ref's saying a neck. The ref's saying, look at the neck. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Penalty for Manly right as they were held on fifth tackle. That is just classic. Of course. Of course. Of course he wants to. Of course he decides this. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. This is just the only way he could do it all. Whoop, 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 whoop. Balloons for days here. Enjoy whoop. Doing that one hit me in the face, didn't it? Not on stream. Sorry. Sorry, that's not a joke for on stream. <laughs> <laughs> but it is funny. I'm sorry. Thanks, bro. Congrats on the green machine. I tipped. Well, I'm glad that you and Wikingax well, are happy that your team's won this round, SS Storm fan. Sorry, I'm late. Been busy doing things today. That's all good, Aussie Blake Craig. Welcome to the stream now, legend. Great having you here. So far, we're 34 minutes and a half into this game. It's the fourth tackle. Cherry kicks low here, and Daniel Tupo collects. Now back over to Luke Brooks. And on the right wing, Luke Brooks finally scores at Brookie. 4 5 Park, whatever you want to call it. Surely. And boom. Wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. What's the ref called? The ref says he doesn't got it. Boo. You cannot deny Brooksy, mate. It's Luke freaking yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Barely a million, barely, that's not even a pixel of his foot is on the line. That is terrible. Not even a pixel of his foot's on the line. And he's out of play. Oh, poor Brookie, guys. So close, Brooks. I really want to say Brooks scores at Brookie. Brookie gets it over at Brookie. <laughs> boo -hoo. Mate, that's what, I love that everybody, it doesn't matter who you support, when Brooks gets denied a try, it's a boo. 
Boo! <laughs> Brooks, over to Cherry. Gets it short to Oragawatu! Oragawatu claiming he got there. I think. No, 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 no. Went out. Okay. No try. Yeah, mate. Try. Foot was on the line, but it's such a disappointment, bro. Our New South Wales Cup team put 50 points on the Magpies. I think because it's just before the ga main game. Not sh would not shock me, Legends. Would not shock me. The Magpies getting it done, bro. Viking Axe, your team's just too good for them. They were just too damn good. You could not handle them when they were at their best. Could not handle them. They were too damn good. Anyways, Legends. Roosters get a feed in the scrub here. Seriously, I am happy for you, Legends, who have got your teams winning this round. But, like, I'm also just looking to next round with my side now. Any streams that come after my team loses rounds are really just there to um, enjoy ourselves and just, you know, react to the game, have a fun time, and j make the most of it all, you know? Because um, at the end of the day, Legends, you only have so many footy games you get to watch in, watch in your life before, you know, you don't have a life. So why not make the most of it? Watch all the footy games you can. <laughs> of course, that doesn't come above personal responsibility, but still, when you can, watch all the footy games you that are possible. Enjoy it. Enjoy Rugby League at its finest, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy the Rugby League before you. Enjoy your Rugby Dolgly League. A hey, legend. Legendary. Oh, sheesh. There's a lot going on. Huh. Right now, Manly. Down the middle here. Tommy Talao. Over Lawton gets it to Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo now back to Ben Trebojevic. Come on, guys. The brothers linking up here. Can Ben get it back to Tom again? No, he cannot. Xavier Coates tried the year so far. Mate, so far, definitely tried the year from Coates. But um, we've still got so much time in this year. I'm standing by the fact that you you can't call anything tried the year until the full year's been played out. But It'll be in the honourable mentions. That's what I'm going to predict. I'm going to predict it will be in the honourable mentions. But that that doesn't mean... Or at least in the... You know, it'll be one of the ones that's uh, to be voted on. Like, you can vote for it to be it. Like, it's definitely going to be one of those tries. Now Cherry Evans gets to Olakawatu. Who goes back to Paolo. Over. Cherry. Kicks. How many of them are on side here? And the ball goes out of play. That is not Cherry's greatest kick. Not Cherry's greatest kick whatsoever. After a, a terrific set where they gained over 50 metres, they just could not finish it. It was like when you get the bag of lollies, but you can't open the wrapping. You just could not grab the good stuff inside. Dean Lovestuff says, hello. Hello, Dean Lovestuff. Welcome to the chat, Legend. How are you doing, my mate? Welcome. Hey, hey, feel free to let me know what you think of this game so far. If anything doesn't overtake that, yes, it's the try of the year. Absolutely. So far, all the tries we've seen, it's the best try. But we're only in round two, Legends. Less than a minute to go in the first half, guys. And that is a knock-on instantly from the Roosters. What are they doing? What are you doing? What is that? What on earth are you trying to prove there, Jared? Jared, you muppet. Now, Manly, after just doing a scrub that was rooster speed, are going to do their own one that's theirs. Roosters, what are you on about? That was a brain explosion, a terrible knock-on from Jaudaria Hargreaves. Now, Cherry. That could be argued as an obstruction if they're not too careful, Manly. But, nope, they're good now. Lawton, today from Brown. Goes over to Bullmore. Bullmore. Bullmore, guys. Held. Lawton bringing down the Lord by a tad. Goes to Brooks. To Ben Trebojevic. Ben Trebojevic. And oh, knock on Ben. But it's six again, so it should be a penalty. Should be a penalty because they knocked it on, but it was a six again for a, uh, what? Yeah, okay, penalty. Now, what are they going to go with? It's 10 all right now. 10 all. Surely you go for the two and take the two point lead at half time. Smart there from Ben Trebojevic, ladies and gentlemen. Extremely smart, actually. Yeah, yeah, alright. So, 
from what I can see, it looks like at half time, as the 40 minutes hit now, the Roosters will trail 12 to 10 against the Manly Seagulls. Have to wait and see. Will 100% have to wait and see, but yeah. Okay, yeah. Ten or <sighs> career points nine hundred and eighty. Can he make it nine hundred and eighty two now? Ruben Garrick, ladies and gentlemen. For nine hundred and eighty two career points. Put his team in front. Ruben Garrick. If you've ever barracked for Garrick in the past, do it now. Garrick gets it. And it's twelve to end at half time. Who do the Eels play next week, Legend? We play the Manly Warringah Seagulls, who are right here, Legend. Manly. We play Manly, Legend. Ding, ding. We play Manly at Combank Stadium, and I'm hoping we can get the job down there. Because you all know how much I feel about Manly. It's going to be a passionate vlog. And it, you know what? Bold prediction. I'm going to make. I'm going to hopefully make it better than the Round 1 Dogs vlog, which was a brilliant vlog in itself. If you haven't checked out that one or the Pampers vlog, you better get over and see them, guys. Alright, because legendary vlogs. Like, sub, all the good stuff. All the beautiful stuff. All the gracious stuff you have ever seen in rugby league. I'm back just about to make an edit. All good NRL edits and NBA edits, bro. But as we enter halftime, you all know what that means, Legends. You may have forgotten what happens when we enter halftime, but I think you all know once you remember. It is time for the moment you've all been waiting for. It is time for the TJC Sports Halftime 2. With your host, TJC Sports. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's always great to get on and do halftime show, guys, where we just chill, relax, ask each other questions, and obviously just have a proper discussion about rugby league. So if you really want my thoughts on stuff, now's the time to ask, okay? Because we focus on the game majority during the thing. That's what we try to do. So get in and ask your questions. Also, take the time to vote on the poll, like it, all of it. Dean loves us as TJC. That is my name, Legends. Uh, Viking X is can't wait for rugby for uh, round five, TJC. Viking X, I can't wait either. In fact, I'm going to be at that game, traveling to Canberra for a mini holiday to go to Raiders vs. Para. It will be my first time going to a Raiders game on their home soil to vlog in, in particular as well, you know, not but just in general also. So I'm really keen for it. Round five, Legends, it's going to be a good one. Whole family, we're going to enjoy it. Look, if, if Raiders win, Raiders win, but I, I'm going to be very happy to be traveling there. We play the Knights in Newcastle, our first away game of the year next week. Good for you, SS Storm, but I hope you can get the job, get the job um, done. But also, Knights... Actually, you know what? I'll tip the Storm next week because... Knights, guys, they've not started well. And right now, they're kind of backing my prediction, but uh, that's just my thoughts. Remember, guys, Knights are the kind of team where they can just get kicking out of nowhere and go amazing. They really are. Are you going next week to the Buddies game? I'm not so sure, Legend. Probably not, because I want to focus on Paramanly, which is my rivalry game. Plus, you know, everyone's going to be going to Roost Roosters Rabbitohs. It'd be nice to stream that. <laughs> While it'd be a nice game, I'll probably just stream it. Viking Axes, can't wait for Godzilla. Yep. Yeah. Sweet, mate. Great films. Great films coming out soon, mate. Viking Axe, I can't wait either. Ah, uh, what's, let's see, uh, Harley Wavan says, easy win for the Sharks, mate. Easy win for the Sharks. Yes, it was this week. For this week, the Doggies stood barely any chance, bro. Three out of six at the moment, says Aussie Blake Craig, and I tipped Manly and Dolphins for today. Well, your Manly could be working out for you. Manly could be your saviors when it comes to your tips, bro. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, Dolphins, 
Dragons looked better last week, but of course, Dolphins played a pretty damn hard team, so I don't really know where which direction I'd go. Uh, best of luck, alright? Best of luck to both sides, but I really don't know who's going to win uh, the next game. I, I, I just don't have the confidence to be able to tell you 100% who I reckon's... Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me. What up, says Michael Roach. What up, what up, what up, Aussie bloke. Mate, we love having Aussie bloke and everyone in the chat. Ivan says, shh. Mate, you shh, Ivan. You shh. Mate, mate, mate. You need to be a good player, bro. You need to be a good team player. You need to respect other fan bases, legend. Dolphins to bounce back. If Dolphins bounce back, it'll be an incorrect tip, but I can't say that I don't see a world where the Dolphins bounce back. Sharks will smash the Tigers next week. I'd like to say that that's not guaranteed, but it is a pretty likely possibility. TJ, you remember you said you said this SS Stormfield was at the at a game? Yeah, I remember he was at a game, Legend SS Stormfield. He was at Parrot. He was at Paratitans, I believe, right? The preseason game. I don't quite remember. I think that was the one supporting the Eels. By the way, SS Stormfield, shout out to you, Legend. Be right back, bro. All good, SS mate. You're a true one there. Hey, TJC, I'm at the game. I'm loving it. Hey, Coil Strike by Zero, brother. Say hi to the, say hi for me, mate. Say hi if you run into Hazy or that for me, legend. Great having you in the stream. I hope you're enjoying it, man, all right? Because seriously, mad respect, you know? I don't, you, I don't know. You support the Roosters and Dragons, don't you, Coil Strike? So for you right now, this isn't the best result. But I'm sure that you're loving it and you're looking forward to the next Half where hopefully you can get it out of the way. Both your teams to win. Both your teams to win. I respect y'all. Are you still mad at me? Bro, I'm not mad at you, Ivan. I'm not mad at you. I just think you're a Muppet, bro. But I could never stay mad at you, Ivan. You're too, you're too, uh, what's the word? Legendary. Can you say that too? But Dean, Dean, was that the game? Uh, Dean was at the game, legend. Dean was at the game. Is that what you wanted me to say, mate? Because I just said it. I bring my cornflakes, says Coil Strike. You brought your cornflakes through? How you got that through? I have no idea, but congratulations, legend. Let's go, Coil Strike, guys. The cornflakes have broken into Brookie. Heck yeah, bro, Coil Strike. Who was born? Who was born in Victoria? Dean, you know I was born in Victoria, legend. Yeah, you were born in New South Wales. I was born in Victoria. Honestly, where you're born doesn't really matter, to be honest, in my opinion, legends. At least not how I think. I, I generally do not really care where anyone was born when I make decisions. I really could not care less where anybody was born. It's more so how, how you are as a person for me. Okay, I'll react as a baby. As in a baby stream. What? <laughs> Ivan, 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 Ivan. The only thing where... Uh, mate, I love that you call me Dada because it just proves that Para are Storm's daddies. They're just Storm... They're Storm's dadas, bro. That's why you say it. They're Storm's dadas. Para Bada, bro. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. We're, we're, we're winning. We're winning when, you face, when we face you. I'm calling it now. It's happening. It'll be easy. You won't be able to handle us. You can't touch this. We will be too good for you. We'll be the best around. Nothing's going to bring us down. Oh, we're the best around. Oh, nothing's going to bring us around. You know, I don't freaking know. Yeah. Oh my god. I have no idea. Where 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 you were born does not do, do. <laughs> Aussie Mike Craig, mate. Usually it doesn't matter. Usually it doesn't matter. Mikey Axe says Benji Marshall made a mistake not studying Aiden Caesar at seven TJ for C Forts. 
Yeah. Look, I think Aiden sees is the best uh, best decision in terms of experience and all that, but I don't know if you should say it publicly. I think it's just logic to go experience, and that's why. I think Sullivan can win his place in the future, but for now, I think it's just smart to go with Caesar. I just, I think the Tigers need a bit of that experience right now with where they're at as a club. I don't think they're at that stage where they need young, necessarily absolutely brilliant talents. I just think they need to start with getting a team that can get the job done on a day, because you know I think it's a slow rebuild for the time for the um, West Tigers, and I. If I'm Benji, I'm expecting to be given at least a couple of years to improve it. Why do you go for Eels and not Storm? Because, mate, because where you are born doesn't decide who you support. I absolutely hate the Melbourne Storm because they are just... For me, they are the epitome of bad sportsmanship. They celebrate cheating. They deliberately ignore when they've cheated. They constantly taunt the teams that they've done dirty. They completely just, yeah. They're also one of the dirtier teams if you've ever watched players like Nelson Asopa Solomona play, Cameron Smith, who was known as the Ref Whisperer. I will always go Parramatta legend because Parramatta is very close to my family. Parramatta it has always been a part of my family. I believe it's where... Who, who was it that was married in Parramatta? In our family. Mum? Um, it was your um, great grandparents. Great grandparents were married. On, on yeah, on your mum's side, yeah. And there's that little special park area yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And also, they're just a club that's always been there, close to us. Um, forever will be, ha will always have my heart with Para. I could never. I could never, ever support another team. I I respect buddies. Even my brother goes for buddies because, you know, we, we have plenty. We have family members that go for buddies. And, and, and the Waz. Yeah, we also have Waz, you know, and stuff. Respect. So I've got, I'll always have a soft spot for, spot for the Waz and the buddies. But, especially buddies. But, um... I, w I could never support them like I do Para, because Para's just too close to me, bro. So, no. When you're a supporter like me of a team, you don't just jump to another side. So, no, I will not be jumping to Buddy's Legends. Ever. <laughs> not to the level of how I support Para. Especially not as long as Para will always be a team. You know? Up the eels forever. You know, I I plan to be supporting them until I cannot talk. <laughs> Tipping roosters against Rabbitohs, DJC. Yeah, I think it's smart to tip the roosters, but I don't put it past buddies. I mean, also Jack White and Danu. Pretty interesting. Jackie boy, can he get the job done? How about the buddies when he comes, comes in? All right, Dean, go. Yeah. Okay, what's this? Katuku says, uh, up the mighty Parramatta Eels. Let's go, Manly, and let's go, Roosters. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's get it going. Up the mighty Eels. You won me over when you said that, Katuku. You won me over when you said, go the mighty Eels, bro. Then you lost me with, let's go, Manly, but then let's go, Roosters. That's better, Legend. That's better. <laughs> That's much, much, much better. Who is Santa? Everyone said to me, it's like, stick it. I don't understand that, by the way. Like, yeah. It's like, I'm TJ, TJC. What? I'm not Santa. <laughs> I'm not Santa. I'm not Santa. I'm not him. I'm the. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not working, they charge. It's not working. Up the Parramatta electrical e electric eel snakes. Electric eel snakes, bro. That's a little harsh. Come on, man. <laughs> I think people fail to understand, right, that when you support your team, right, and I have plenty of people in my chat that support different teams. In fact, I don't think any 
many of you are proper regular Eels fans. And you go to things like that, Legend, you know. At the end of the day, you can love your team. I love Parramatta, and I will never stop supporting Parramatta. But, like... I respect that others support other teams. And, you know, if you love Roosters as much as I love Para, good for you, you know. So I'm not going to make you – I'm not going to tell you dump them and come join Para Legend. I can't wait to be a morning – sure, Viking Act. Sure, bro. Love, I love the Eels, bro. You know I'm kidding. They're my number three team. I know, man. I know. I know, mate, Aussie bloke. You're fine, bro. You're absolutely fine. Para matter all the way, dudes. Dolphins and Dragons tonight? Yes, mate. And it's an NBA. And it's, I'm excited for it. All right, Legends. The players are out, which means you know it's time to get on with the second half and say goodbye to our first halftime show of the day. Goodbye to the TJC Sports halftime show. And now, hello to the second half. Up the mighty electro techno electric tricky cricket electricity eel. What the? Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Up that. <laughs> Alrighty, Legends. Manly. Roosters. Tight game. Second half coming up. Who will be victors in the end? We find out with just a kick of the ball and a mere 40 minutes. 12-10. Manly had the lead at halftime, but you can't say it was a solid lead. Let's see who is the victor in the end. Manly now kicking it over to Roosters to start the second half. Roosters take the hit. Jared Maria Hargraves with the first bash of the game. Now over to Dom Young. Dom Young. Dom Young just forced backwards. If anything, they lost meters with Dom Young there. Are you kidding me? Oh, Terrell May now. Surely Terrell May does a little more than that, but now he doesn't. He gets held down instead. Terrell May, you silly goose. You silly duck, you silly buck, you silly bucky, you silly Susie. Roosters. To Terrell May. Terrell May may or may not go. Come on, bro. Terrell May, guys. Will he stick with Roosters or will he end up somewhere else in the future? I don't know. I think really it should come down to money because the man will know his value. He is such a good prop, guys. What Terrell May does for his team is unbelievable. Cricket is word of the day, mate. 100%. Cricket is word of the day for you. So, the hammer is not. The hammer is not a number one, TJC, just my opinion. I I actually see where you're coming from there. For me, the hammer is a great player. And he's fine at fullback. But I don't know if the team around him is at that level where he can be where you can 100% say that he is the best fullback option, you know, because he can play center and winger, and he can do it well there, so. But I also think center's been filled for them, and winger, you know, you could put him winger, but it would be pushing it! Manly! And now on the left wing, we have a try. Tommy Talao goes over, the former West Tiger, and Manly extend their lead to 16-10, to 10, and I'm sure... That everybody is so happy about that. 12-10. More like 16-10. Could be 18-10 in a second. That is what you want in a lead. Manly guys really showing that this is their home game. Roosters, they may have been expected to win this. But Manly have gone, no, 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 no. This is not allowed. We are better than you think. R don't forget, guys. Both teams coming off a victory. Both teams have had a decent start to this season. So you cannot say that Ivor had no chance in this one, all right? Seriously, this game was actually always going to be an exciting one to get to. I'm sure Roosters fans are not very happy right now, but there's still plenty of time for the roles to be reversed. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Number one. Well, geez. number one Parramatta you'll support a TJC Sports. Without here, without Parramatta, Parramatta will fall. Mate, mate, one hundred percent. They need me, bro. They need me behind them, mate. They need all of us Para fans behind him. They need every single Eel supporter. Without us, they don't have a shot, bro. No supporters equals no motivation, guys. Seriously, a team with no supporters is not a team at all, in my opinion. No matter what you think about supporters, supporters make up 
the one reason that players can make a career out of what they do. So let's not pretend that that, that players aren't that fans aren't a big part of it. Hayes exploding right now. Viking act that would not shock me. I bet you he's at the stadium absolutely ripping into everything going on in this game. But luckily, I don't believe the ref is climb, which is something a relief because we all know Mr. Hainsy, just like me, is not a fan of Klein. <laughs> now, guys, at 18 to 10, we kick off again. And yes, I am aware it says 16 to 10. I am fixing that now before anybody comes out or says it. Okay, I'm fixing it. There you go. Boom. Boom. I fixed it in time. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat in the fiddle, the kumble jumped over the moon. <laughs> do Tigers have any supporters? I don't know of any law. They do have supporters. I mean, I've got a neighbor that's a West Tigers supporter, but he's also he's actually more of a um he he's uh actually more of a um, West supporter than a Tigers supporter. But obviously, you know, Wests aren't um in the comp anymore. So West Tigers is the closest he can come to supporting his team in the NRL. So that's how he's a West Tiger supporter. But he's not really, you know, he's not really a Tiger supporter, you know. It's just, it's the merge why he supports them. That's why he won't, he won't call them the Tigers. And that's fair enough, you know. I don't think I know any, like, just the Tiger part supporters, like West Tigers. Yeah, I don't know if I know that myself, Legend. But to all of those surviving supporters, good on you. It cannot be easy. It can't be easy, the surviving fans. Ola Kawatu now! Ola Kawatu on third tackle. Well dialed. Now Lawton gets it to Cherry. Cherry. Very much Cherry. Over to Brooks. Brooks putting to bed the Sooks. Gets it back over. Tommy to allow the try scorer. The only try scorer of the second half now held down. He was wearing a West Tiger shirt. I told him. So I have some supporters. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's true, Aussie bloke Craig, mate. Then, yeah, 100%. 100%. We, they do have some supporters, but they're just... There's, you know, they're, they're surviving supporters, okay? Because let's face it, it's not easy. It can't be easy. I Saying you were a parapet in, like, 2018 sucks. <laughs> and I can, I can only imagine how the Tigers feel right now saying that they're Tigers fans for people. Gambling Kiwi says says uh, Tiger fans celebrate every win when as if, as if it was a grand final win. They probably have a lot of fun. Oh, 100%, dude. They probably just, when they win, it's probably just a, yeah, we finally won a game moment. And Ola Kawatu, thunderous run down the line, but he's been held up. But yeah, Legend, 100%. When you support a losing team, in my opinion, as much as you love that team and you're going to keep... You gotta non-stop support them, and you'll never stop showing that emotion. I do think. Um, where where was I trying to go with this, uh, Legends? Forgive me, <laughs> as they're reviewing this right here. Um, I do think that you've got to have a bit of fun when you're the poorest team, right? You got to be like, nah, we're winning every week, and then eventually, when you win, you can be like, I told you, I told you. I told you in my 200 streams experience. I told you this would happen. I told you it would happen, Gambling Kiwi. Told you. 100%. Never a doubt. Never ever a doubt. Now, up at the bunker, we have no try for Olukawatu, guys. Ugh. I'll probably take off the jumper after this game. <laughs> Lawton. Guess it to Brooks. Brooks over to Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown puts them down. Held down. Lawton. Cherry. Starting off the set play. Olukawatu finally grabs the ball. And now he bags himself a try. Right on the right edge. Manly go crazy. Uh, speaking of crazy, I wonder how Haynes is feeling here at Brookie right now. <laughs> 22 to 10 a 12 point lead to Manly this is the last thing you want to see if you're a rooster the upset is on legends 
getting too deep like a deep sea electric eel. Typical. I know, right? Typical, man. Try. Yes, that's right, legend. We have a try. This is brilliant. Brilliant. 22 to 10. 12 point lead is theirs. We're the best around. Nothing's gonna bring us down. You're the best around. <laughs> Nathan Brown held down. Yes, he was held down, but um, Olakawatu was not. Olakawatu, he was denied a try earlier in this set, but now he finally gets it down. Oh, we can't. I don't think any of us can wait for that Viking act. It's going to be funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. One of the funniest things we've ever seen. It's going to be entertaining beyond, actually beyond entertaining. It's just going to be unbelievable. It's going to be special. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be, oh. Alrighty. Wait, they're reviewing it. The odd field call is try. Why are they reviewing it? Did he knock the ball on? He seems fine to me right now. And he's right there. Oh! Massive call! They're really gonna say no try there. Really? Really? I know I'm not a manly fan, but huh. Okay, no try. There you have it, legends. 18 to 10. No try. I, I don't know why, but to me it looked fine. Look at this referee. I bet he's using a lot of sunscreen. Oh, it would not shock me, legend. <laughs> if you just take a look at him. Free day for Brown, he's... He's still being held down. Downtown held down is Nathan Brown. Mate, Nathan Brown will keep being held down but because he just, he will never be the same after he left Parramatta. Never be the same level. Roosters. Now, Sand and Smith, I think, gets it over to Mr. James Tedesco. James Teddy Bear Tedesco. The Teddy Bear stopped by Mr. Ben Chaboyevic. Ben Chaboyevic loves hugging his Teddy Bear, clearly, from what I've seen this game. High kick and ends up with James Ted James Tedesco's fullback rival, Mr. Tommy Turbo. Fifty-four votes so far on the poll. Only two percent of you have gone for draw. The refs at thirteen percent. Thirty-nine percent have tipped the winners so far, Manly, who are at an eighteen to ten lead, and forty-six percent of you have gone with the Mr. Sydney Roosters to win. So, huh. 19 out of 25 complete sets for Manly. 14 out of 18 for Roosters. Pretty close there. Possession is at 36% though to Roosters. And 64% to Manly. Manly very much with the possession in the second half. The Roosters have not been able to take advantage at all or hold into it. It's actually been a little sad to see. Okay, now Dom Young here. Dom Young held down. Nathan Brown always beat... Been down since he left Parramatta Town. Exactly, bro. Ever since he left Parramatta Town, went off. He hasn't been the same legend. He's been all over the place. He's been all around, and he just hasn't really broken out at any team. I don't think so, you know? Like, I'm not saying he's a bad player, but he just has not broken out like he was when he was at Para. At Para, he certainly was an okay player for us, but then it fell, it fell apart, the relationship, and just, yeah. If Tommy Turbo played for the Broncos, he would have extra horsepower. Mate, Tommy Turbo played for the Broncos. I think that he's he's come closer to winning a premiership, I think, if he played for the Broncos. Reese Walsh, though, I think is the reason that Manly, that Broncos never got a Tommy Turbo kind of player, though. Because Walsh, I think, is unbelievable, all right? Like, when Walsh is in his prime, you will not want to you, you will not want to take him on, okay? Like, I, I don't think anybody will want to play Walsh when he's at his prime. Like, seriously, let alone if you're, like, barely making it into your team. Reese Walsh is the kind of guy that could make anyone look poor on their day. 
when he just... Oh, and he knows it too. That's why he's so smug, Mr. Reese Walsh. No matter how you feel about him, he knows. He knows! Manly going. Manly forward. Manly held down. Alright, high kick here, Roosters. Uh, uh, yeah? Okay. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm under a microscope. <laughs> okay. I just found out Nationals no longer on YouTube. Have you seen him at Eels Games, TJC? Yeah, nah, he retired, Viking Axe, Mr. National Sports Slow, and decided that he didn't want to do content creation anymore. And, you know, that's fine for him. That's his decision. Uh, shout out to him up the eels, bro. Uh, no, I haven't seen him around Legend, but I hope he still goes to eels games and enjoys it, dude. I really do hope he still enjoys it. Katuku says, to do Dom Young, what? What? I wouldn't try these take <laughs> Kotuku, mate, you're with the rippers in the chat, aren't you? You're with the fire chat right now. Brown. Nathan Brown for the line, potentially. Nathan Brown held down. Lawson now. Gets it over to Luke Brooks. Luke Brooks back over to Ben Trebojevic. Ben Trebojevic looping round. Short one to Lawson. Lawson running down. Lawson refuses to do his job. Tries to take them on, but Terrell May, Tedesco... Any rooster you can think of seems to have tackled him now. Bench Boyevic. Back over and... Oh, Nathan Brown knocks the ball on. Terrible attempt at catching there from Brownie. You're kidding me. What was that effort? What was that effort? The Chookies, what is wrong with them? What is wrong with them right now? It's just silly. It's just silly. Would ya? Okay. Yeah, okay, what's this? All right, Brown Butterfingers tips. One sec. Okay, yep, Legends. We're back on reacting here. Sand and Smith now. Over to the right. Manly wearing the Seagulls. Just holding them back, pushing them forward. Two tackles left in the set. Luke Keery takes the kick now. Goes over to the far left side where it's collected by Mr. Tommy Turbo, who gets it over to Talao. Talao now with a burst of speed. Stopped. Welcome back, SS Stormfair. Great having you back, Legend. Love having you around, man. Now, Cherry. Over to Talao. Talao. Tommy Talao. Talao is what I called him when he scored that try. Tommy Talao, Legend. Absolutely brilliant. Paseca, Legend. You planning on going to any of the Origin games this year, bro? Um, have they released the venues? I They probably have, and I just haven't kept up because I'm I'm crazy bro like that. Empire State of Origin. Uh I could go to game one. I might go to game one at a core legends. I w I don't know if I could go to the other two, but I might go to game one at a core bro if I was to go to one. It'd probably be that. <laughs> I could go to game two, but I'm not so sure if I would. We'll see bro. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, can't, don't know exactly, but we'll we'll, ha we'll we'll figure it out. Yes, it was good to see Storm defeating the foreigners. <laughs> I'm sure it was Aussie bloke creep, mate. Depends who you prefer. For me, I prefer Warriors much more over Storm, but that's also a Paramount thing. Para Storm do not like Para either. Um, if we're being honest, do they, Legends? They don't one bit, one bit. One bit at all. They don't like it. They don't like it at all. At 18 to 10, Legends, so far, it has very much been Manly's game. But, Roosters, you can't say that they've been out of it. They just haven't quite been on the level of Manly. Ah, oh, that could have been an amazing run if they didn't muck it up in the end. That would have been actually brilliant, bro. That would have been a perfect run if they did it right. Oh my god. GG gambling Kiwi, mate. 
you got to say GG, because at the end of the day, Legends, whether um, you're happy about a game or not, you've got to respect the fact that if the winners are being good to you, and even if they're not, you show the respect by being good to them, all right? You show the respect, okay? You show, you can banter and be care about your team, but you got to be a good loser and a good winner, all right? Be like, support your team all the way. Uh, mate, of course the 2023 grand final would still hurt for him. The 22 still hurts for me! Speaking of hurting, down the wing, James Desco to Dominic Young! This could be Young's first try for the Roosters! What an intercept! What a try! Then run the entire field! Dominic Young! How brilliant was that? We went from calm to incredible! The Chook Pen is on the screen! Oh my god, there's the Chook Pen! It's the Chook Pen! Absolutely brilliant from the Sydney Roosters, the Sydney Toosters, the Sydney Winners. How good was that? Absolute brilliance from the Roosters. Come back against Manly is on. You little beauty. G Broncos excited says Dom Young. Yeah, mate. Dom. Young, showing us all what peak performance looks like. Sydney Roosters officially award Dom Young there for his first try in their colours. He scored 25 in 25 games, like I said earlier in the stream, all the nights last year. And now in his first game for the Roosters, he's bagged one. This player is truly special on the wing when he wants to be. Right now... The explosiveness from the Roosters can be felt all around the stadium. So, so, so much to go before we know for certain. But absolutely incredible result here. Let's go, Legends. I'm breathing. I've got to take a breath for a sec because, like, Sheesh, that was amazing. That was absolutely incredible. That was brilliant. That was on another hemisphere. Manly and Roosters in the background chanting at Suoli. Come on, Roosters, says Jason Reader. Explosive. And the kick, not so explosive. And it remains a four point deficit against the Roosters. 18 to 14. What a game we have had so far, and it will take one hell of a match in the Roosters-Dragons game, not the Roosters-Dragons game, the Dolphins-Dragons game, to compare to this. One heck of a game. 62 votes currently on the poll, Legends. We're so close to our, bowl of, uh, our um, goal of 69. Come on, get us there in the end, Legends. I know you can do it. And if you're watching and you haven't yet, you, may, you better make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future streams or forget about this, because guys, come on, don't you want to hear more G'day Legends and all that, come on, I know you wanna, I know you wanna, I know you wanna Legends, you wanna, you wanna hear it bro, you wanna hear it loud and proud all about the world, you wanna hear it from the, you wanna hear it from space, you wanna hear it in your car, you wanna hear it, you wanna hear it on the field, and oh, the Roosters get a penalty, Manly slowing the play of the ball, that is an interesting one to see. We don't see that penalty given often. And now Roos is with the full set. He always didn't make it. Nearly tripped right before the try. Lucky he fixed it and didn't tear a hammy or something. Oh, very lucky legend. But that's how good Dom Young is, man. When you look at his stats for Knights, bro, I'm not shocked that he managed to get himself over there in the end. To be honest, the fact that they even got him to nearly trip shows you the great defense Manly have had today. And that's something where you can't take it away from Manly, even if you don't like him. Smith now gets it over. White. Oh! Roosters try coming up surely on a platter. And no, he's just barely stopped above the line. He's literally staring down the line. Oh, terrible pass. And wait, nope, it's a penalty. The Roosters. Manly just... Ah. Oh. Paseca with a little bit of a brain explosion. And due to ruck interference, the Roosters have a full set in front of the line. We've got just over, 
We've just got oh, under an hour done in this game. 20 minutes to go. It very much looks like it's going to be the Manly's da not day, but um, not if the Roosters can get something done here. Mikey X says Roosters goal kicker needs to get it together if they want to stay in the game regarding points. Absolutely, Mikey X. Um, freaking Sam Walker just hasn't been good enough today in kicking. Now Jake Trebojevic takes on the line and gets stopped on the line. You can't deny, though, the effort there from them all. You can't deny that the players are putting in an effort. Even if it's not exactly the effort you'll want to see, it's it's an effort. It's an effort. Enough of one to warrant some kind of respect. All right. Just looking at my super coach. Looking at my super coach. Super coach. Super, super, super coach. Jesus Christ. Terrell Bay's already on 68 points, and it's only 59 minutes an hour of the game done. That's how good Terrell May is, guys. Remembering, Terrell May, guys, got about 50 points playing half an hour off the bench. Such a good prop for the Roosters to be having. Now Lawton gets it over back to Cherry. A little bit of a dummy pass there. Gets it over to Paseca. Paseca, he, pace, he paces himself for a second. Gets it to Jake Shabuevic. Luke Brooks. Back over to Talao. They move themselves to the 10 meter line here. One more tackle to potentially help their lead stay there. Hey! And he collects. He collects. Now over to Jackson Barlow. Jackson Barlow. Oh, passes backwards and the Roosters read it and the Roosters knock it on. Pass backwards here to Tommy Turbo and it's a double knock on. It was a two point tackle. If he didn't trip him, he would have run it closer to the post. Absolutely gambling Kiwi. It was a brilliant defensive move, even though you can't deny the fact that Dom Young getting there at all shows how good he is. A lot of effort done there. York says, hey, TJC. Hello, York, bro. I'm tipping the rooster so far in this one, man. Um, but the Manly Oranga Seagulls have been better right now. Roosters, Roosters, you're making me regret my decisions. You're making me regret my decisions. This is somehow close. Well, to be fair, man... Roos Manly do have an okay team. The Roosters just... Uh, I don't even know what to say, really. I always thought it could be close. I did think it could be a 1-12 to game, but... I always thought it would be 1-12, to actually. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is... It's closer than many thought. Now the ref making his decision. He gives penalty to Manly. And if you're Manly, surely you take the two. Yeah, that's what they're going with. Taking the two, it'll be a six-point lead to Manly. Smart move when there's 19 minutes to go in this game. You're conceding so many penalties. Yeah, but you're also get, you're getting so many penalties too. I mean, the slow the slow play of the ruck, bro. The the interference in the ruck during your attack on the 10 meter. Uh, who are you tipping tonight, TJC? I'm tipping. Well, I tipped Roosters uh, in my tipping video, and I also tipped. Um, I also tipped... Did I tip the Dragons or the Dolphins? I actually don't remember. I don't remember if I tipped Dragons or Dolphins in that one. That one actually has not even remotely come into my memory exactly. Let me let me actually figure that out. Did I... Who did I tip? Who did I tip in my NRL Round 2 predictions? Uh... I tip Dragons. I tip Dragons Legends. I tip Dragons to win against the Dolphins. Come on, Dragons. Get it done. Get it done, Dragons. Get it done. This is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous, bro. That's football. That's just rugby league, bro. That's just rugby league. At the end of the day, um, any team can challenge. Uh, what's this? Uh, I need Roosters and Dolphins to secure a perfect round this round because I've got every tip right. Hopefully they get it done for you, York. 20 to 14. Noise. Yes, Aussie bloke Craig. 20 to 14 is a very, 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 very noise scoreline. Needs to eliminate your yeah, errors of York. Yeah, the errors are exactly what's getting them in the butt right now. Tipping Manly and Jason Reader. 
Yeah, as a Storm fan, you're the special one that tips me early, and I'm sure you're very happy right now. It's working out for you. Cherry gets it to Paseca. They're going down the middle. Gets the red light now. Smash the like button. Get her done. Get her done, guys. Get her done. Get her done. Come on, get on the poll, guys. We need six more votes. Uh, we need six more votes to get to our goal. Come on, guys. Six more votes on the poll. Get it going. Get it finished. I got five out of six, Parley. Just need the Dragons to win. You just need the Dragons to win, man. Come on. Can the Dragons get it done for you? Bench your boy, Vic, now. Burbo. Stopped by Joseph Mardu. Lawson. Jake Trebojevic gets it over to Cherry. Cherry with the long pass. It ends up with Suwali. Now to Butcher. Can he butcher the defense? No. But he'll butcher it and take a tackle. Don't worry, York. I tipped the referee. Of course you did, Mike and Axe. Bro, you always tip the referee, Mike and Axe. It's always the referee with you, bro. Always the referee with you, man. The refs are always going to win with you, Mike and Axe, mate. Every single game, it's tip the ref, tip the ref, tip the ref, tip. Don't tip anybody else. Just tip the referee. Tip the referee to get the job done for you. Right, man? That's what you do. Because it is on the poll. You can tip the ref if you want to, Legends. I'm not against it. <laughs> 15 minutes to go in this game now. Roosters. Gets it. Joseph Mardu. Over to Luke Keary. To Tedesco. James Tedesco with a burst of speed here. Moving forward. Ruben Garrett barely manages to stop him. Mate, if Garrick's not there, Tedesco's running through. Oh, what a kick. And is it off a rooster forward, potentially? Is it off a rooster forward or a manly back single backwards? Or am I completely wrong and it's against manly completely? The ref with the big decisions. <laughs> I love it when people who are right below the box realize they're on TV and they just jump up in front of the coach. It's like, yeah, people are there to see you, not the coach. Totally. Oh, Tommy Turbo Legends. The way that the, the Roosters land on his leg there, that ain't good. Guys, Joseph Mardu. Awkward landing there. Tommy Turbo, guys, he's all right. But, like, geez. We're a player that has those kinds of, um, those that kind of history. Ugh. Oh, here we go. It's Manly's. All right, Legend. All right, Legends. Roosters are going to get to attack here. Manly on the defense. Roosters back. Oda just swelly. It's a full set right in front. Honestly, I don't know whether I'd rather them off a loss or a win, Manly. I don't know Manly are a team that scare me as much with that kind of stuff. Now it's a Wong. Come on, Wong. Go, Wong. Go. Wong held down. Are you watching tonight's game, TJC? Yes, I'm watching the next game as well, man. I'm watching the next game as well. Daniel Tupo. Tupo. Accelerating into the line, but could not get over. Two more tackles left in the set. They've got to try something soon if they want to get there. Are they just going to take the tackle here? It looks like they are. Lindsay Collins, guys, looks to burst through, but is read well. Now Sam Walker with the long pass, and it's terrible. It ends up with Manly, and Manly will just take the tackle here. The ref was the ginger kid at school that was never pick, picked for teams. Now he refs them. Exactly. He was never picked for the team, so he refs them instead. <laughs> exactly, man. This is a good... Of course it's not good, bro, but when is a loss ever good? When, when can you say that a loss is ever good to see happen to you? Like, I can't tell you a time that a loss is great. Oh, all right, cool. This isn't great for Roosters, but, you know, at the end of the day, you've got so, so much of the season left. To say round two, a round two loss is bad is a bit silly. I think when it's 14 to 20, you can't exactly call it a bad loss. Losses can be good for teams. It can teach them. 
Every time losses can be good. Every time I see Titans lose, I celebrate. Of course you do, Aussie Blake Craig. <laughs> My favorite try was in last year in Origin Game One. It's Collins offload to Munster. Oh, that was an incredible try. Incredible try, Essa Storm fan. I'm with you all the way. That was a good one. Now, Sam Walker kicks to the left. Can the Roosters finally get it here? Oh, it's hit back. And it ends up with Lindsay Collins. Lindsay Collins now. It's still fifth tackle. Luke Keary now to the right. And Dom Young. Oh, and it goes out of play. It goes out of play, but it had to be hit out. Otherwise, the Roosters were clearly going to get there in the end. Dom Young feeling his knee. He's not quite get it up yet. Looks like it's probably just a cramp from the way he's feeling it. Of course he glad you tips the referee there. Of course you're glad you tipped the ref, bro. Mate, literally, it's a tip of the ref. It saved you. It saved you from ever being wrong with your tips. You're never going to be wrong with your tips now, bro. Never. Never in a million years could you be wrong with your tips. Being wrong with your tips? Imagine. Just imagine being wrong with your tips. It would just be silly. Okay, legends. Now, manly. Looks like they're going to be taking the ball now. Tommy Turbo's having a talk with the referee right now. I wonder if anybody's going to be uh, telling Turbo off for doing that like they tell Mitchell about Moses off for talking to the ref. But no, probably not, are they? Probably not because people just don't like Moses from Cairo for whatever reason. This is ruthless defense. It is ruthless defense, bro. Ugh. Ruthless defense right now. Defense, in fact... This is the perfect game example of attack winning you points and defense winning you games. You know what I mean? You get the tries from attack, but defense is where you win the game. If you have unbelievable defense, all you need is a point. Defense over attack every day of the week. Got to have the best, all right? Got to have the best you can in every single scenario possible. Yeah, well, it definitely... You could, I actually think it's a rooster knock on into the Manly Seagull, to be honest. So, shouldn't it be Manly's ball, actually? Shouldn't it actually be Manly's ball, if we're being honest, if it's a knock on into the Manly player? No, nah, I'm not going to Magic Round this year, York. Um, can't make it. But uh, I will be going to New Zealand, and I will be going to Canberra, and I'll be going to Newcastle. I'll be going to quite a few places. Did Moses allowed to talk to the Bible? Moses spoke to God off. It's his thing. Exactly, bro. Mitchell Moses, bro. If anyone has a right to talk to the boss of all, it is the Moses himself. Ed, Andrew Johns said on, Fr on Friday on the 8th, this is the best game in years. How disappointing. How, how could you call this the best game in years? To call this the best game in years is silly, you know. That's, there's a bit of bias... There's got to be some bias there or some lack of knowledge because there ain't no way that this is one of the best games in years. Is it a good game or at least an all right game? Yeah. But to call it one of the best games in years? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I can't go that direction with this game. I just can't see it. Yeah, I get it's John's opinion. I, I get that, it said that it's Mr. Jo Andrew John's opinion, but at the end of the day... You know, we've had so many classic finals victories. Like, we literally had one of the best grand finals ever last year. So I don't know how you could call it one of the best. I, I think maybe he means early games. If, I think he means... Uh, if he means early games, possibly. Like, first three round games. But that says a lot because, like, in the first... I believe it was the first five rounds that we had the two-point game from Cleary. Yes, by the way, I'm streaming. I don't really I don't really have the time to be talking. Brandon Smith. Smith, the nine down the middle here. Forty metre line. Held. Now Tedesco gets it to Sam Walker, who passes over off of it a Wong. Walker in a fit of rage kicks the ball away. Mate, 10 minutes. We've got less than 10 minutes to go. We've got 9 minutes to go in this game. And uh, 20 to 14, you've got to say that right now, 
unless Roosters can get something going, Manly just have to hold on. Defense is everything now for them. That grand final was one of the best ever, right up till the last few minutes. Exactly, Aussie bloke, Craig, exactly. Like, when that grand final exists, you know, and you've had Panthers win a three-peat off of it, as well as, you know, just some iconic rivalry games. It's... If we're talking Roosters and Manly games, I actually do agree with Johns that this would be one of the best. If we're talking Roosters and Manly games... Like, on that basis alone, I will say Andrew Johns is correct in the terms of I haven't seen a better Manly Roosters game in a while. But I can't say that it's the best of years. Now, Lawton gets it to Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo held down. Now backwards. And with the kick of the boots, Dolly Cherry Evans. Makes it 21 to 14. And now a converted try won't be enough in this game, Legends, for the Roosters to equalize. Brilliant stuff. Cherry Evans, potentially with the point sealer in the game. That could be what decides it all. Unless Roosters decide to instantly react, this is, this is it. Daily Cherry Evans, guys, that smile on his face. 21 to 14. I honestly probably should have seen a field goal coming, but no, 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 no. Alright. <coughs> 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 York, you know it was <coughs> my favourite grand final was 2019. Yeah, look, I will never agree with Roosters fans on that decision of six again because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when the ref makes the wrong call, how does he expect a player to react quick enough to him correct, correcting himself right after he's taken the tackle? You can't expect him to react. It should have been replay of points, and I'll, I'll never agree with Roosters fans on that who say that they made the right decision because I don't think they did. But, you know, people are entitled to their opinions. The second air. Yeah, alright, Viking Axe, I'll see you on the next stream, bro. It's not over till the final whistle. Exactly, man, that's what I say every time power play. It's not over till the whistle, bro. It's not over till that whistle blows. Until that whistle gets going. My favourite grand final ever was the year Broncos beat Pampers 2024. Oh, whoops, sorry. No, I meant to give out spoilers. <laughs> Ah, oh, bro, we'll see. We'll wait and see, okay? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they'll do it, but I'm not so certain, bro. I'm not so certain myself. Now, Roosters. Brandon Smith over to Joseph Swally. Mate, it's right down to the wire. Really close game there. And Tommy Talao has been ruled out with a dislocated ankle. Ouch. On the sideline now. Yeah, he's not going to be good. The ref seems to be testing Ola Kawatu's leg right now. Doesn't look great. Trying to, what, like pop it into place or something? I don't know what they're trying to do there with that much force on the leg from the trainer. Now Sam Walker kicks it to the right. They've got to try anything they can now. Luke Keary gets it back to Joey Manu. And it's a knock-on. It was not enough in the end. Imagine if they scored there, how incredible it would have been. It would have been amazing. It would have been exceptional. It would have been unbelievable. It would have been spectacular. 2024 Grand Final winners, Canberra Raiders, Aussie Blake. Peace, peace, Viking King. Peace, bro. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Raiders 2024. We'll see, bro. We'll see if that happens. We'll see. Luke Keery, though, guys, oh, he really should have, he really should have picked that up. It real, it's just not been Rooster's Day, has it? It's just not been Rooster's Day when they needed it to be. The moments that have truly counted, it hasn't gone their way. 
Eagles play great, oh, great, uh, pay great odds. Best Eagles next week. Get it early. These odds will even cut cut after this, mate. I I'm not going for anything that go ends up in para losing to Manly. I refuse to <laughs> I refuse to get it on Manly beating Para. No 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 no. Para about to get it done versus Manly. If we can get it done versus Manly, we can win the other games. Luke Keery coming off the field now, legends. He probably will not be back with five minutes to go in this game. Now I'm six out of seven, says SS Storm Fair. Congratulations, mate. Congratulations. Can you be seven out of eight? We'll have to find out next game. Luke Brooks gets it back over. Held down now here. Now to the right. Gets it to Paseca. Paseca stopped. Paseca could not get far enough. Seagulls, Roosters. 21, 14, 75 minutes and a half gone by. Manly, to the right. Look, what, however you feel about Manly, what a ripper of a game so far. All good, CR Sports, mate. We don't have much time left on this game, but you can easily pop in for the next game as well. That stream is another two hours of content for you legends. Looking forward to it, really. This game has been... It's been a good game. Would I call it one of the best ever? No, but I'd call it a good game. Absolutely. Absolutely, I would call it a good game. All right, Legends. Now we got a scrum here. Cherry Evans waiting for the feed from the referee. Goes over to the left now. Good pass there. Who's your mama there? The Roosters say as they smash him down. Croker gets it to bench boy, but come on, Burbo, get a try. Go on, Burbo, you know you want to get a try. You you know you want to get it. You know you want to get it, man. You know you want to get it done. You know you want to finish it off. Parramatta will smash the Seagulls next Sunday. Go, Parra. Go, Parra, Liam. I hope you're right, bro. I really do hope you're right, Liam. Cherry Evans. Daly Cherry Evans now with a ooh, little push there and stopped by Brandon Smith. We still got two left. Jake Trebojevic to Brooks. And oh, knock on from Manly. Knock on from the Manly Oringa Seagulls. I'm not saying that miracles don't happen, but I don't know if I can see the Roosters winning it now. I feel like it would be one of the best. It would be the game. It would be the comeback of the round, surely, if they if they did it. You know, they no way they give something as good as Coates yesterday, but um, still. Yeah, it really does look like they're trying to keep an eye on Ola Kawatu, make sure his leg's all right. Don't know if he's pulled something or it's just a really bad cramp from the way they're looking at it. Could be either, to be honest. Nothing, nothing really harms a player more without doing so much damage as a cramp. Oh, Wong! Wong's away to Victor Radley! Victor Radley now! Gets over to the halfway line. A try must be scored in this set if they want any hope of getting it done. Joey Manu now, Legends, gets them over to the red line. Defence is crucial for Manly in this final moments. Roosters. Back. Tedesco. James Tedesco. Over to Joseph Suwali. Joseph Suwali back down. South fans everywhere. South fans, mate, you'll find South fans anywhere on the planet. Yeah, Toop. Tupo. They're going to want to get some good meters here. Terrell May. And oh no, Ben Trebojevic collects. And surely that will seal the deal for Manly in this game. Surely that will seal the deal. Luke Brooks now to Cooler. Cooler running forward now. I'd be willing to put a lot on that being the one that seals it for them, Legends. A lot, actually. I'd be willing to put a quite a bit, quite a hefty fee on, on that being the one that seals it, to be honest. Seems highly likely from my perspective. Now we enter the final minutes of the game, ladies and gentlemen. 
now over to the right. And the Roosters, no matter how hard the Roosters try, I don't know if there'll be enough right now. And, oh, GG Eagles says Gambling Kiwi. GG, bro. Massive GGs to everybody, all right? Whether you're, whoever you support, GG. Manly Roosters looks about done here. And if Manly score again, it's just, you know, adding salt to the wounds. Really is just adding salt to the wounds if they score here. It's added the biggest salt imaginable. Okay, Legends. Now they go forward here. Manly takes the tackle. Two wide. Ding, 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 ding. And right on the full-time bell, we hit our goal of 69 votes and finish off the stream. Thanks for watching, Legends. I've got to get over to the next stream. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Congratulations to the wonderful, wonderful Manly Warringah Seagulls. Manly Warringah Seagulls on their victory. And I'll see you over in the next one, guys. Head over there now. Dragons and the Dolphins. What will we see? you got to check it out, guys.